everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report in Los Angeles, and I'm so happy to welcome the trio 323 to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. Jonathan, Kinsley, and Jacob, how are you guys doing? Hi, we're doing good. Thank uh, you yeah, for having great. us. I love hearing this harmony in unison, which was so great during your blind audition, and both Reba and Michael loved your performance of You Drive Me Crazy. Michael was turning at the last minute after Reba turned right away. And both of them fought so hard for you. Michael even pulled out some money out of his yeah, pocket. That was crazy. That was fun. <laughs> so what factors went into your choice of being on Team Reba? Well, there were a multitude of things. So we originally said Reba. Um, that was who we were going to go with. Then we got there. And it felt like everybody wanted Reba. So we were like, maybe we should like be more strategic about this. And so we had had some second choices in mind, but- I didn't, I was always She Reba was always Hart, Reba. Always. <laughs> but we were thinking maybe like Gwen would turn around. We were, we were really thinking she would be her vibe if Reba didn't turn around or if Reba did. And so we didn't really know much about Michael Buble, but with him turning around, it was it was actually like wild an experience yeah. that he turned around because I mean, I've always, I've grown up listening to Michael mm -hmm. Bublé. So, and to kind of get to know him briefly on the show was really awesome too. Like that man is a serious musician. Like, yeah. He is incredible. And so is Reba. So for us, the fact that Reba turned around so quickly for us, mm -hmm. that kind of sealed the deal. Yeah. We're and, like. Yeah. And too, like she grew up in the singing McIntyre. Yeah. So she has <clears throat> group experience with harmonies and unisons and all the things that we love to do so um we were really just excited to be able to work with her and have her bring that experience to the table to help grow us too well as one of the few trios who's ever competed on the voice you guys are following in the footsteps of some very successful trios recently a girl named tom who won the voice in season 21 and sorella who made it to the top five in season 23 Mm -hmm. So you started your group pretty recently. I'd love to hear more about each of your roles in it and where have you been performing? Yeah, for sure. I'll start us out when we okay. can finish. So uh, I decided one day, like, let's start a group. So we all go to church together. Um, me and Kinsley have seen together for a lot of years. And then Jacob kind of popped along because he's the youngest in the group. So we did a few kind of gigs and things uh, or performances in church together. So I was like, you know, we all sound, I know I sound good with Kinsley. We sound similar. So this would make sense for us mm -hmm. to start a trio. So we honestly decided that one day I would call them. I was like, hey, let's start a group. This will be something extracurricular outside of church. Um, but we can have just a different outlet to, you know, do pop music, um, R&B music, country, like just something different than we do every Sunday. So that's kind of how this honestly came to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As far as like our different roles in the group, Jonathan's usually the one that coordinates like with bookings for gigs mm -hmm. and things. Um, I'll do a lot of like our marketing things and Jonathan will do some of that too. And then Jacob and I both write. We're sort of in the process of getting some originals out there. So that's kind of the next step for us. Um, so yeah. Jacob, anything you want to add? Uh, pretty much exactly what Kinsley just said. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm just going to double on that. That's, that's, that's pretty much both of our roles, all of our roles. Yeah. Well, Reba said she loved your choreography and your harmonies, but tell me what are you hoping to learn by being coached by the queen of country? Um, just because she's had such an experience, you know, um, not only singing country, but she's worked with so many artists, uh, you know, she's sang with pop artists, R&B artists. She's done it all, honestly. And that's kind of what we do. We, we like to dabble a little bit in each kind of genre. So just to have that experience to learn from her um, and realize that she didn't just stay in country. She, she expanded and she really is open to all these other types of genres. She can just pour so much knowledge and so much years of experience into us. That's what we're most looking forward to. Plus, she's the reigning queen of the voice from last season. You can't yeah, forget like that. And exactly. tell me, what has the reaction been from your friends, your families, in your hometown of Tallahassee, and from fans all over now that you've appeared on The Voice? Right. Everyone has been so, so kind. Um, people just from our church family and our own families and friends and people that they're connected to have just reached out to us. Even people that we don't know that are connected to people that we do know have just been so supportive and kind. And just the feedback has been so, so great. Well, I cannot wait to see what is next for all of you. 
So Jacob, Jonathan, and Kinsley, I want to lift a glass to you and cheers <laughs> to your continued success on The Voice. Thank you. Yes, cheers. thank you. <laughs>